edition of baseball on the show. It should be a good diamond dynasty. What is up, YouTube? It's Paul. I'm back with yet another pitcher gameplay on my secondary account. Today we're looking at flashback John Lack. Really interested to see how this goes because I don't think I've ever used it. I can't recall. I've only ever had him on this account, and I just don't think I've ever used it. And you can see the lineups here. He's got Kinsler, Chu, Arenado, A-Rod, Teixeira, Barra, Bryant, Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez, and Michael Waka pitching. I don't know which Kinsler that is. I don't know which Arenado that is. I don't know which A-Rod that is, but we can assume. We can assume. In fact, let's see real fast. Let's just see real fast what we're dealing with. Diamond Kinsler, of course. I kind of figured that 10 most. That's kind of funny. Hey, Rod. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Figured it was that one. And then this. Okay, he's got the Arenado. Okay, so he's got all the goods. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. These uniforms are hideous, dude. Sorry, but uh, they're disgusting. That was flashback lackeys from when he was on the Angels. John Lackey's had a really good career. When you when you really step back and think about it, he's had a pretty damn good career. There was a point in Boston where it looked like it might be kind of over with, too. He was really struggling, and uh, he got back on track. So good, good for him. And he's really had a nice uh, denouement to his career. Which will probably only go another couple of years. Tops. See what we're dealing with here with A1Rod underscore. He's a 17-13 and I think that we are a 17-50 or something. I don't know. By the way, we are in CS. I think... Last video on here, I, I suggested that it was DS for this team, but that's not the case. Nolan Arenado gets his first opportunity now. Runner at first with one gone. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate that the number two guy couldn't at least move that lead off. I'm waiting for him to run. I know he's gonna. He's gonna run. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, anyway, I, we should probably talk about the pitches that we have here. Four seam, curve, slider, change, cutter. Let's take a look at some velocities. 92 average on the fastball. You could probably run it up to 94. Nice 79 hammer curve. 82 mile per hour slider. 83 mile per hour change, and then 90 mile per hour. 90 mile per hour cutter. Deep arsenal for sure. Nothing's overwhelming, but uh, grab a seat there, Arenado. Oh my goodness, he's crushing with the A run. Let's see if we can crush his hopes and dreams. Take that, A rod. Take that as well. Oh, come on, get there. Oh, come on. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Alex Gordon. All right, we got Rollins, Betts, McCann. What you got, Michael Waka? I like Michael Waka. I actually really like him a lot in real life. Health has been a problem, but he's shown he's shown that he can be a stud. He just, that shoulder just continues to be an issue for him, and it has me a little bit concerned about just how good he'll be able to be. But if he finds some health, I think Michael Waka can be a really good pitcher. That's that's gonna hang up there. Dang. Dang. Apparently playing in the woods. This park was just uh, built in the woods. Still, hey, doesn't affect turnout. There's still a hell of a lot of people here at Green Valley Stadium. Take a dirt road, 17 miles, to uh, and it opens up, and then you're like, whoa, there's the stadium. And whenever there's somebody the first time coming to the stadium, they're like, this can't be right. This, this has been a dirt road for 17 miles. Linda, did you put it in the right directions? I swear I did, Sam. Freaking Sam, never trusting Linda. And then all of a sudden it's just like, whoa, oh, there it is. I knew, I knew we were on the right track. 
It's like, Sam, shut up. You didn't, you didn't even think you were on the right track. All right, six pitches, two outs. Gonna need to chuddle. God, these uniforms are so ugly, dude. My God. I'm like offended when somebody has disgustingly bad uniforms. I'm so offended that I allow them to get out of the inning in seven pitches like a clown. The real, if it ain't blue. What the hell is that? Like, you just put some colors together. You got two different pinstripes working. There's no way he looked at these and like, yeah, I killed it with these uniforms. Like, these are freaking hideous. Take that cut, Teixeira. Oh, I didn't look up the Teixeira, but I'm fairly certain that it's the good one. Yo, Curtis, chill, man. Chill. I know the center fielder usually gets it, but when it's Alex Gordon, it's... It's his ball all the time. I can't hit with this Yogi Berra. I hit on strike zone, and I, I believe... I believe there's an issue hitting with short guys on strike zone. I don't think it affects everyone, but I know some other folks who have shared the similar concern that I have, and I just I can't hit with this card. I also can't hit that well with, uh, with Jose Altuve. Got a short bias. Maybe it's because I'm tall in real life. Grab a seat, Yogs. Ooh, not so good with the uh, Chris Bryant. Let's keep it that way. Let's not let him pump up his average. Got a new addition to this team since you last saw it. Now it's not gonna be it's not gonna be seen in this video, so it's maybe kind of useless to even tell you all about it. But I did get Flashback Strasburg, so you can expect a gameplay video on him very soon. Or I guess whenever I get him. I can't promise very soon if they don't give him to me. I feel like mostly this year I've had good luck about when I put a guy in the rotation, he comes up in relatively short order. There's been a couple times where I'll put a guy in and I'll go 10 games and like he just doesn't come up. But by and large, in fact, I, I, I can recall a lot of different times Golly. that uh, I put the guy in and he's the very next pitcher didn't happen in this case because I just put Strasburg in and we got lackey but hopefully it doesn't take too many games I can get that gameplay video out relatively soon why don't we take a pitch or two or three unless it's three strikes because uh, yeah I'm, I'm just getting mowed down here swinging at mediocre at best pitches oh, I would Hit that 712 feet. You know, it's easy to say, by the way, when you don't swing it. Oh, I would have crushed that. Yeah, right. You would have flied out to the uh, second baseman. Popped out. Now we're going to mark this pitch. Nope. Not good enough to mark. Come up here. I'm going to mark it. I'm taking it unless it's up here. It really wasn't up there, and I, I swung at it. Who didn't know that that was coming? Paul says he's going to do one thing, does the direct opposite. Who didn't see that coming? Gosh. Who's batting? Oh, leg kick. Is that Justin Turner? You know, initially I was reluctant to switch to strike zone, specifically because you couldn't, you can't really see the batter. And I wanted kind of the aesthetics of being able to see what they do and everything. And that was my initial reservation. And then I switched and I ended up being just a much better hitter with it. So I'm glad I wised up. Because it's kind of a silly reason not to want to change. Okay, this is a live series cargo at least. He's got diamonds all up and down the, uh, the lineup right now. Uh-oh. If you had better uniforms, you would have hit that 516 feet. It's a little known fact about MLB, but uh, there's there's coding in the game that if you have a shitty uniform, um, you don't hit the ball as far. Developers won't tell you that, guys. That's uh, that's a Paul Spore exclusive. They probably don't want me saying that, but listen, I think y'all need to know. If your uniform looks like crap and you just put 11 colors together with 
different colored pinstripes and the a yellow undershirt and a yellow bill of your hat, on average, your hits go 20 feet shorter. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going to get through the lineup here uh, with what? Just one hit? Is it a hit or a walk? It was a walk to the very first guy. Okay. So far, so good. With uh, flashback lackey. That curveball's really, really coming through, and I'm liking the cutter. It's not a, it's not that fast of a cutter. It'd be, it'd be really clean if it was the same 92, 93 that the fastball is, but and even that was 94. That's not even at the top of the zone, and it's 94. Can he run up 95? Not quite. Not quite. I feel like he would have gotten more love if he could run up 95. I would have heard about that. Let's hammer you back to the uh, dugout, fella. Bye. Uh oh. I mean, still bye, but it's not as cool when they still hit. All right. Let's get some hits ourselves. We don't even have the walk. Oof. Curtis off to a really tough start. I swear to y'all, it is a pretty good card. But, um... I'm just off to a really terrible start. For those that don't know, uh, Curtis Granderson is also my favorite player from when he was on the Tigers. So there might be a little bit of bias there. But uh, I will show you at some point on my main account his stats. Like, they're good. I swear. Come on, can I get some cheese up here? Oh, man. Should have waited for my cheese. When you're hungry for cheese, you wait until you get your cheese. Oh, they got a random carousel and a bounce house out there. That's just creepy to have that in the middle of the woods. That's the funny thing, though. That's how it started, was just the uh, the, the bounce house and the carousel. And they're like, Phew. if we're going to be less creepy, we got to put a ball field out here. Get over his head. Take a look at the stadium really fast. Playing me must be a disaster because I'm always pausing. Oh, they can't really look at it yet. We're going to look at it, don't worry. I am swinging at utter garbage. I'm making walk look like a champ. It's it's subconscious because I because I like him so much in real life. I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't beat up on him. Let's see what's over here. There's just a, a, a big tent. Another one. Is there anything going on in there? Are there like midway games or anything? No? Looks like just a tent for you to hang out under. There's creepy woods. Maybe on these videos we'll start touring the stadiums. A carousel, bounce house, another big top tent. And that's it. Wish we could kind of see what's going on behind it. You know, listen, it's a nice stadium with these weird towers over here that standing room only. People come out to Green Valley, man. I, I think the thing of it is, if I'm being real, there isn't much else to do in Green Valley. So you got to hit the stadium, especially when a couple, bunch of major leaguers come out. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. This chew, I think that's the flashback. It's gold, yeah, so it's got to be the flashback chew. It's a great card to crush righties. The problem is, and I'm not going to make the same mistake in 17, is I didn't start getting on the Conquest stuff until way late. I don't even know why, guys. I don't even know what my aversion was to it. I'm a clown, okay? Just don't forget that. Most of you that watch these already know me. You know I'm a clown. So it was a clown move to not get on some of these cards because I ended up loving so many of them. But by the time I ended up getting them, I had way better guys or just guys I wanted to use more already in the lineup. And so it was hard to justify. Sweet slide. But like the first off, the 
Ichiro is amazing. Super regret not getting that right away. I, I've used plenty, I've used him plenty. He's not in the current lineup, but uh, he'll he'll get back in eventually. Uh, the Chu, the Hardy, which I have been using. You guys saw that on some videos. But um, I think you can get what the Axford after that, which I would like. I've used that in BR and it's a good card. I still don't have the Brewers innings. Uh, the Pablo Sandoval. Um, there are others. I'm just trying to think, but they're just I I, I should have done that out front. And I will not make that mistake again. I imagine Conquest will be back. It was pretty popular. Hopefully they expand it a bit. I think that being the first year, they didn't want to go too hard. You know, if they put five levels in it and nobody plays it, that would have been a lot of time spent on something that nobody did. So I think that they can add to it this year knowing that people liked it and they're going to play it, but they want a reason to play a second and third time through. At least a second. Maybe not, you know third fourth and fifth or whatever but give us two two run throughs make the second one like really hard or something there's a Mookie Betts home run by the way don't want to uh, steamroll that one nothing we'll, we'll take it for our first hit oh. and that what, what is catcher's helmet is baby blue what the hell's going on but yeah I will uh, I will be on that conquest opening night at least a little bit. Not, you know, I'm not only gonna play that. You know, I just, I think the part of the reason was I jumped out, played a lot of BR right away. I really loved it, even though I was pretty crappy at it. Um, and then I started getting into DD. I'd like to see a little bit of expansion on DD as well, where it's not just your rating. I love the nine inning game, though. I mean, listen, the BR thing is fun. It's three innings. It's different. It, you know, it's not quote unquote real baseball. It's a different kind of game. It's supposed to be like a little bit of a gamble, right? Like, the, the volatility is purposeful because you can get good rewards. Maybe make, you know, and they, I think they responded to the community realizing that, yo, it's so tough to win 20 without a disconnect or running into some total cheese and just all this sort of stuff. So they, they changed it to 12, middle of the season. So that was pretty cool. But uh, I, I just after a while, I was kind of like, eh. And I really wanted to get in on the nine inning games. Just a lot more fun for me. But I'd like, I like more than your rating, no matter. You know, because I take my rating pretty seriously. Like, I, I, I want to have a good rating. But you can be winning 8-1 in the seventh inning of a game. Your internet hicks, hicks, hiccups. And you lose points. And that can be frustrating. So I just wish there was more to play for. Now, the internet having a hiccup, there's no way to like quell that. They can't do anything about it to where you still get something. But if you're playing for more than your rating, like I, I don't even know exactly what else where you know getting those eight innings would still be worth it or some, whatever I said, seven innings. But I just want to see some more stuff done different tiers maybe tournaments perhaps um, I don't know I just think that the, the current setup leaves a little bit uh, it has a little bit lacking all right we're starting to get to walk a little bit here say that oh snap I'm going back I think I would have been out I think that was the right move All right, Curtis, I'm gonna take a pitch here. At least one, talking him up. That's a good curveball, that's a good curveball. I think that's a good pitcher's pitch though. I don't know if I can do a whole lot with that. The outside curveball, and then I swing at the one buried in the ground. Paul, you a clown, dude. Oh God, I sent them. I thought it was good. I think I just wanted so badly for that to be a hit. Oh well, we got back. No harm, no harm done there. It's 
all right. That's all right. We're taking a pitch. Taking, taking some pitches. I mean. Oh, and then I swing at that. Gee. Oh, wait. Make it. All right. I think it's the pitcher batting though, so it's not that great. Oh, we had a chance at a big inning here, and it just did not come to fruition. Unless Lackey's gonna do some damage. Let's go. I see you, Lack. That's back-to-back. Gameplay videos where the pitcher got a knock and Aaron Sanchez was a freaking beastly one off the green monster. Oh, the pitch. Trying to be patient, thinking I'm cool. And then I swing at that, dude. I'm just such an, an undisciplined hitter. And that's the problem. Like when I when I focus in, I'm good. But I lose that focus. And that's problematic. I'm not blaming the uh, the videos because obviously I love making these and I love streaming, but I guess I think part that's part of it though. Too. Oh dang! I should have kept running. That's on me. I just assumed that the most routine catch would be caught. Um, but yeah, like when I'm playing with no stream, no video, just focused, I'm a much better hitter. I think that goes for everybody. You don't want none of this Mookie. I don't swing at that. Oh, gosh. Oh, turn up my space heater here. That's what you're going to hear. Just a little, a uh, little bit hot. Temperature's getting back up to something a little more palatable here in Austin. I think we're up to mid 50s today. We've been in the 20s and 30s lately, though, and it's disgusting. There we go. Well, so his uh, his error, you know, cost him a few more pitches. That's it. So you can't really get too mad about that. All in all, it doesn't really cost him. All right. Let's keep it going. So I originally tried to match up, and I could hear the guy change his lineup. I had Steven Matz, live series Steven Matz, lefty in, and that's who the video was going to be about. But then the, he's changed his lineup, changed his lineup. I guess he didn't build a good enough team to go against a lefty, and so he just quit out. I really, really, really hope they fix that next year. I just think it's so pathetic. If you can't build a 25-man roster that's capable of facing righties and lefties, you're a bad team builder. It's that simple. So what they should do is when you match up, they should automatically take you into the game. Or you do the pitcher randomization, I guess, and then it takes you into the game. And then you do your lineup screen. And if you want to change then, or change, you can change your lineup. First off, they should have a verse right and a verse left lineup, which I, I think would just be perfect in the first place. So then let's say you're facing a lefty. It takes you into the game. It shows your verse lefty lineup. But if you still want to make tweaks, and you say, listen, I've been hitting lefties well with so-and-so, so I'll put him back in, blah, blah, blah. You can do that. But if you back out at that point, you take the L. There's just too many little losers who don't want to face a lefty. And that's pathetic. I know it happened a lot on BR, too. I think the worst part is when I would see somebody do it on a stream and they'd try to justify it. Like, listen, just own that you're a little cheeser. Like, don't. Don't just, uh, don't, don't try to justify being a punk. Just build a 25-man roster, man. Could you imagine if MLB teams could do that? Uh, listen, Dodgers. <laughs> you guys are throwing Kershaw tomorrow. Nah. We want somebody else. Can you rerun the randomizer until we get Joe Blanton? Thank you. Who's batting? Green Valley needs a new uh, scoreboard. Oh, AG. Oh, at the way the way he was walking, I was like, "Wait a minute, did we get this?" We did not. You know, it'd be kind of cool though. What I just said there about um, 
adding a scoreboard. What if they expanded on some of these stadiums and they added new things? And so it's like the same stadiums, but with just some different tweaks. That'd be kind of fun. This curveball, y'all. I like curveballs a lot. And um, this one has been particularly fun. I'm, I've thrown it the most. It's really, that's, that's definitely different for me. For anybody, really. I don't know if there's anybody out there that, you know, rides a curveball. It's been a great curve. I mean, this guy's swinging at a lot, too. Oh, I kind of I kind of felt it. I kind of felt it. Oh, and then that's his throw? What the hell? I mean, I guess he got one too, but he's probably going to score off of his. Ah. Okay, he went back. Yes, 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 yes. So a runner at second, two down now, and standing in the dangerous first baseman, Mark Tisha. All right, here we go. Let's get him out with the curveball. Boom. And that's Kendris. Kendrick Morales has terrible first base defense, so I wouldn't have been surprised if he olayed that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we are dominating with, with John Lackey. One hitter through seven so far. I like it. We've got ourselves two runs, so we're feeling good. I'll get the pen warmed up anyway. By the way, I was talking about him swinging through a whole bunch because I only had like 62 pitches or something. Same situation for me. I've been swinging at a lot of walk of stuff. So both pitchers are kind of mowing, mowing them down. Paul. Call, call that a base hit. Give me a base knock. That was a hard, that was a scorcher. Base hit, base hit, base hit. Boom. Fifth. Number five. Oh, I guess I gotta check the scoreboard out there. Left field. That's a hit. Throw Kurt. Oh, and there's a double play. Oh, eat it, A-Rod. You garbage. All right. Getting a little something going here. Now, he hasn't been a threat offensively enough to feel like I need to take Lackey out. So... I think I'm just gonna hit. This can be some famous last words here. I'm talking about how he's not been a threat, and then he has a big inning next inning. But oh man, we could put Poppy in too. And all he has is righties warming up. Man. How many pitches? 62 pitches. How many strikeouts? I'll look after this. I'll take this pitch. Even though I knew it was going to be freaking perfect. Five strikeouts, one hit. John Lackey would flip out if we took him out, too. They should have that, like, player personalities. Like, if you take Jake Peavy or John Lackey out, they, they lose their minds. There's some others, too. Matt, Madison Bumgarner would do the same thing. All right. Well, it wasn't the double play, so now we get the uh, double in the gap here to score two runs. Let's go, J. Roll. I don't know if I get a thing where he changes. Ooh, ooh. Caught the zone there. I like it. I see it. I see you. I'm sitting up. Get off me, dude. I told you what I was going to do. It wasn't in the gap, but and it wasn't a double. It was a triple. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Told you. I told you what I was going to do, man. I hooked you up. There we go. Should have left walking, dude. Careful. Careful with McCann. 
And a slider tails outside for ball one. Careful. That's a little low there. It's 2 and 0. Here, Nady, 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 Nady. Oh. Tap foul at home plate. What's Nate got? Slider, sinker, two seam change. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, good change. Good change. Three runs already home here. Runners on the move for second. Slice hard on the ground. Okay. Big inning, though. Let's go. Feel good about the lackey decision now, especially. Not gonna lie, didn't really feel bad about it, no matter, because it's just not hitting that well. But uh, you put on three runs, now we feel great. Good change up here. And then we'll hammer him. Hammer curve. Hit him with the hammer, baby. Oh, bad one. Double up. We're going double. Don't hang it. Don't hang it. Don't hang it. Hung it. What did I say, Jay? I legitimately said don't hang it, dude. Oh, well. So I get for doubling up. It's a risk. It's a risk. Sometimes they're not expecting it. You, you freeze them. Other times they're like, oh, you threw it again, but worse. Sweet. Thanks. It's all right. We'll stay away from the curveball this entire act. Good take, good take. And here's a fastball on 02, but it misses one and two now. And a slider oh, runs away from there. The so count levels at two and two. Full count, three and two. No one out with a runner at second. All right, Cutter gets us out of it. We're out of that at bat, not out of the uh, trouble. We got cargo coming up. Excuse me. Oh boy. Woo! That was terrible. That was Frisbee slider. Just Frisbee's up there. Floats on up there, ready to be murdered. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind Oh bye. Let's go! Freaking Kendris Morales out here like what defense, y'all? I'm amazing defensively. Get off of me. Fair enough, Kendrick. Fair enough, dude. Oh, Ted Mosby. Ted Mosby in the house. Oh, Robin never loved you, suck it, Ted Mosby. All right. Lead off double goes for naught. Oh, I'm surprised Mosby doesn't pitch. I thought, oh, wait. You have to bring him in as a hitter. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, we got Andrew Miller. Get up. What do we got coming up here? See, I love Alex Gordon, but it's going to give us a chance to use one of our lefty destroyers. If I only had like a two, if it was two nothing still, I don't think I would have done that because I want the defense. But with a five nothing lead, we can get a little frisky. Let me get just a little, little bit frisky. Come up here, because it's all blue. Isn't that cool? Oh. Suck it, Ed Drummond. Ah. Boo to that, I say. Justin Turner strides in, rounded out his last time through. Chase Headley will get the call to pinch hit here. We'll see what he can oh, do. Oh crap, I forgot. I had Justin Turner at second base. Chase Headley gets a walk. Oh, you want to face Curtis? Okay, he's better against lefties. What you know about that, dog? Even if I'm flailing it. Dog crap. Boom. Get off me. Two hits in a row for Curtis. Get that average back up over 100. Oh, you want to face the pitcher? Well, guess what? It's not going to be the pitcher. John Lackey's going to freak out because we're taking him out. He's like, what? 
I'm trying to go for a complete game two hitter. Don't care, dog. Don't care. I'm trying to get them runs. Bring in someone else. I don't care. I don't care, dog. I got something for that, too. I got something for Carter Caps. What you know about... I might just let him hit. Nah, what you know about David Ortiz, dog? What you know about Big Poppy? Nothing. Throw some junk up here. Or that. Dude, I said... What do you know about Big Poppy? Poppy. Let's go. <laughs> First pitch, Grand Slam. Oh, see, that's you probably would have preferred that last pitch, huh? You wouldn't have given up the Grand Slam at that point. Well, it happens. All these changes. Does it really matter? We'll go with Stingers. Actually, even though there's two righties. All these guys are worse against lefties. Seagrass is awesome. Alright, so that's pretty good outing by uh, John Lackey. I like that card. It's not bad. Now, it doesn't have the velocity. I like, I like a little bit more power. But the depth of Arsenal was definitely there. We're not facing the greatest hitter either, so I know that that's part of it. Oh, Listen, Matt Holiday. I'm not. You can hit a two-run homer. I don't even care, really. I just want to get this game over with because I'm gonna win, dude. Oh, no, you didn't. Corey Hart will probably drop this, so let's be honest. He's not even wearing his sunglasses at night either. That's weird. You would think with such an opportunity. Let's get a little GIDP action here and go home. Get the hell out of Green Valley, even though we're the home team. Good catch, Kurt. Hey, Rod. What you know about this Kevin Seegers, bro? You know nothing. I knew he was going to do something like that. <laughs> right when I talked trash, I was like, oh boy, this is bad. Oh, there goes the shutout. Sorry, Seagrass, you're going to have to finish it, dude. Just going to have to. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He is taking it on the chin. Okay. Well, you're still pitching. You're fine, dude. Two run home run for Mark I mean, just throw some heaters and get some garbage. Come on. Boom. Ball game. Well, Seagrass ERA was tanked, but everything else went very well. Hell of a game. Oh, 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Lackey, player of the game. Mad as hell that he didn't get to finish it. But we never would have that poppy grand slam without that. Plus, we get four more homers. We get that prime poppy which is pretty sweet which i have not used at all so there's that bets just consistently killing it granderson goes two for four poppy with the grand salami great game except for Seagrass. all right y'all that's john lackey that's prime john lackey from the angels not a bad card uh, appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll have more gameplay videos all winter. Take care.